Welcome back, part two. Uh, got this 2010 Ram truck out here, and uh, it's it was a it's a, a, a problem car. If you guys didn't see the first part, uh, I suggest you watch that um, because this is just a continuation of that. So it was getting pretty dark yesterday, so I uh, I just I didn't I didn't do the visual, and uh, it's nice and light now. So I'm gonna get under there and. Uh, I'm just gonna look at all the the wiring, do a really good thorough visual, make sure nothing's pinched or you know broken, twisted, shorted, whatever. Uh, there's a mess under that uh, steering column, or so. All right, so I just I'm in the ECM now, and I just wanted to get some of the uh, just the VIN information and all the specifics so I can make some comparisons. So in the PCM, you can see uh, we got lost column with the ABS and a cooling fan control circuit. Uh, so, you know, this ABS module, it's it's definitely, uh, something's up with it. I, so we're going to tip them now and uh, kind of just doing the same thing. Uh, just looking around to see what all we can do. So yeah, if you look here, the ABS module, uh, it's not even communicating at all. So, uh, I checked the, uh, the TIPM and the ECM. Uh, they're both got the same bin. Um, uh, so, uh, this ABS here, uh, well, <laughs> that's going to be our problem. Let's go check it out. I don't know. I may have just got really lucky. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, I noticed that. Uh, that ABS module, it's not even, it's, it's not even coming up on the scan report. So, uh, so I was, you know, just go for a visual inspection and, uh, every single wire going into that ABS module looks fried. <laughs> like it was, uh, or crushed or both. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're ugly. Yeah. So if you look down there. Uh, that to the right, uh, you got this, uh, right over there. Uh, those are the calm lines, the, uh, the white green stripe, light green, uh, and the, uh, white blue stripe. There's other calm lines over here. Uh, don't look horrible, but these, I mean, there's like a, it looks like a power and a ground going into it. And, um, I mean... They look, uh, burnt, like they got hot, so they're kind of bulging in spots. So, so I think it's just a test power ground. Um, we might need to load test these wires, see what's fried. Uh, those calm lines are highly questionable they they look burnt i mean i don't know they look kind of well bulging and so i have a feeling we're gonna find our issue there but we'll see i think that's a job for the scope so um yeah i'm gonna grab lunch and then uh and then let's just look at the uh the calm lines going in and out and and the powers and grounds and all that and, and then just uh track our issue from there looking at the service information uh we've got the uh, abs module here and there's our can high and can low the uh, white light green and white light blue we saw and then we got some wheel speed sensors uh i believe well the vehicle speed sensors and then the uh wheel speed sensors and then we got our fuse B plus, we got two of them. And um, run start ignition output, and then our grounds. So those are what we need to check. All right, so of course it's dark now. Uh, run around doing all kinds of shit. All right, so I'm just gonna take this uh, this top off this. Um, and actually, I mean, it looks pretty dirty around it. I'm gonna 
I'm just taking the whole connector off and I'm gonna look at it. Alright, ah, let's see here. Just got a few wires. I'm gonna test it with the meter real quick just to get a general idea. And uh, I just hooked up this test light in series so I can, uh, just for a visual. So that's a fused B plus, I believe, and there's uh, there's no power going to that. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, let's see here, that is a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, fused fused B plus. So there's, there's no power to that one right there. And then dark green, red. So let's go. Dark green, red. I see it. Where does it go? Alright, so as you can see, there's no light, there's uh, no, nothing, and that's going over to that other uh, fuse B+. Plus. Sorry, this, this truck's loud. Now I'm going to switch the lead over to the positive, and uh, that was weird, I felt, felt like I got shocked there, that was weird. Uh, okay, so as you can see now that it'll light up backwards. But, all right, so we're gonna test the uh, the grounds now. So we got that big fat uh, dark green, or no, it's a black dark green, and then another black dark green. Uh, one's fatter than the other, I believe. So, uh, all right, so we got a good ground. You can see that light, and uh, we got charging voltage. So, let's test this other one. Um, it's just that other black one right next to it, I believe. And I can see that light up right away. Don't need to go any farther. So, with these grounds are good. You know, we got no power. All right, so I'm just on that fuse block now. Tip them, uh, and I'm just looking for that battery B plus that goes to. Uh, the, the ABS module, that's, sorry about that glare. Looks like this, uh, this right here, uh, sorry, these two, J04 and J05, those are going to be the ABS module fuses. And then we got this IOD fuse here. Um, that's this guy. It feels loose. Um, I mean, usually those like, they pop up or they pop down into place. I'm gonna laugh if that sucker's just not in place. All right, so I'm over here at the tip of them and, and uh, you can see I got those fuses removed. Uh, we do got power at the fuses. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the fuses. Just have it sitting there and there, but uh, it's just uh, it's just not getting over here to the, uh, to the module, so. Uh, I believe that we just got some burnt wires from here to there. I, I think, um, as a matter of fact, I think wherever they got fried, uh, they fried those calm lines too. So let's dig a little deeper. <laughs> well, all I did is, uh, is just put the fuses back in and it's kind of wiggly, wiggles around a little bit. I'm going to take it out and look at it, but yeah, now we got power at the uh, brown red wire. Still no power at the uh, dark green uh, red. Yeah, there's no power at that wire. So, uh, so we'll see the extent of the damage. Uh, I, I, I mean, I believe I, I truly feel like, you know, I can see the the, the communication like the CAN bus lines are. They're, they feel like there's nothing in them. Like they're soft, you know, and, and they're, they, they, they look charred in spots and I don't think the camera really did it justice. Uh, I think that they're just shorted together. Uh, probably the same spot where that, uh, that other power wire, uh, the, the B plus, the fused B plus, um, is coming from that's not working. So uh, so we're going to get the scope on it and, uh, we're going to look at the calm lines and then the, uh, the grounds and the powers and, 
and uh, do a better visual and see what we can find. Okay, I got my makeshift uh, a diag cart here, so this should be more efficient. You guys, I just, I'm still setting up. I know this is taking forever. Uh, so, um, yeah, and then, so I got that uh, ground going over to the negative terminal and then a, uh, a little bus box uh, just for the any grounds I need just to clean it up a little bit. And I got that over at Joe's Auto Electric. What do you know? He's got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of random stuff like that. Uh, I think we got uh, both those channels hooked up. All right. They're not hooked up, they're grounded. Just gotta put them in a the can line. something there's a i mean they're these are packets um I mean, there's, there's obviously communication. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're missing powers. Uh, one power and, uh, we, well, two grounds are good. We got one power that's questionable, one that's inoperative, and then that, uh, the key on one. So, if you see, I just, uh, so I froze that, uh, and then let's zoom in. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I, get, I don't know if it really matters. I should uh, get a better zoom this time, though. So, I mean, we know it's talking. Uh, there's no module to talk to. <laughs> the thing's just, uh, it's a wall. It's not, it's not talking. It's not alive. Uh, so. You know, I just wanted to make sure that we did, you know, there was communication and it wasn't, um, you know, I mean, these packets. They're not great, <laughs> but, you know, this has got some wiring issues. Those wires are shorted. Um, and as a matter of fact, I mean, they mirror each other, uh, I believe. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Let me zoom in. God damn, my eyes are horrible. I should have got that last little blip. Uh, I mean, you want to you you want to see a nice uniform square wave. Uh, I mean, this is a. It look, I mean, honestly, it looks, it looks decent to me. I'm not a CAN bus expert, like, as far as decoding this, um, I, I, I know only so much, and then, uh, you know, that's it, so. All right, I'm going to tear apart that tip bomb, and um, I'm going to start uh, just tracing that wire harness back and uh, see what we find. So, perfect example. <laughs> You can throw all the tipums at this thing you want, all the ABS modules you want at this thing. If you do not follow a diagnostic procedure, you're not going to find the issue, and you're going to spend thousands of dollars. Uh, they also went through the entire brake system. <laughs> it's full of air. Uh, they're replacing calipers and ABS modules. And uh, let me show you. All right, so. Uh, on a first look looks okay by the way i ripped up <laughs> I, I opened that harness over there too i didn't see anything actually 
So my eyes deceived me, but I was on the right track. Uh, let's see here, the green can. Crusty strike. There's our power wire to the ABS. Crusty as hell. So there you go. You got the uh, green crusty wire. And uh, all that trouble for this wire. Um, you have to you have to take this connector off. So I don't know how they didn't see that. Uh, I don't know if the if this was DIY style or um, they paid someone to do this. But well, no, they 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 had one sent in, so they did it themselves. Well, I mean, I could see how you could miss that, but you know. That's why you call me. So it just goes to show you, you know, do your due diligence and, uh, you know, test, don't guess. This is crazy, guys. Uh, this is, it's, uh, I have a feeling it's about to get out of hand because, you know, these cars have a lot of modules. Uh, this is a 2010 and there's barely any modules in this. Uh, some of these newer ones, people are getting, He's shotgunning fucking modules like you won't play. That's my prediction. Uh, I'm so glad I found that because it's cold. Like, I'm a big old bitch today. It's cold out here. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm really digging my new shop. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited to get it all set up how I want it. And, uh. See how it goes. But, uh, you know, it really just goes to show, you know, you get what you pay for. So, see you guys next time.